Okay. <clears throat> New alert marked on navigation, Tenno. Hello, Blue. Is yeah. Celine on? Yeah, no. Not anymore. She was. Okay. I was curious because I thought I saw her on, but she's not. I'm trying to figure out what I weapons see. I want to have for the uh, new Zephyr. Because I want something different from my normal loadout. I've been standing in um, Rue's Bazaar for quite a while. Maybe Ignis Wraith. I haven't really experimented much with it yet. Opticore might be a thing to test out with Zephyr. The proper, the proper orbital laser. Eh. Just saying. It's... well... I don't really have very good Opticore mods, and this... Zephyr, I'm wanting more like hyper aggressive weapons. Yeah. Nobody wants to buy my uh, G1 relic. Mm, keep it. You got like five of them. They have the Frost Prime. Yeah, keep them. Ember Prime something. 
The Rhino Prime Blueprint. Oh, I know. Dirge, Nell, and Cronin. You know, I had the entirety of a Boar Prime set, and I, or not at the same time, but I had the entirety of a Boar Prime set. Uh huh. Yeah, I sold the stock for Ducats after I'd sold the other stuff before it for Ducats, thinking, eh, I won't get another Boar Prime set, and now here I am with everything but a stock of a Boar Prime set. <laughs> That was a bad trade, then. Yeah, just sold Ducats as well. It wasn't a trade, it was Ducats. It was like a hundred Ducats. Kinda worth it. Eh. But was it? I mean, I got what I wanted from those Ducats. I suppose. I could trade the key, my key for, like, the Jordis Redictor or the Law of Retribution. Or my key for me to the Salad via Assassinate. Or one of my spares for the Orican Delect, whatever.
I asked somebody if they had spare Rhino Blueprint when they said they were selling the Rhino set, and I, they just didn't respond ever. Yeah, people do that. People suck. Yeah. I really need to max out that metal auger. Operator, you have remembered well how the Tenno arm themselves. Oh, that's right, I have a Nell Riven. I kind of forgot about it. <laughs> Ooh, but it loses crit chance. I'm not yeah, and that's my that. entire point of my build for it. Because, because it gains... it's going to be a headshot, which is hitting uh... crit. And it's hitting bigger, bigger crits. It gives it toxic like, damage and extra damage to Grenier. And then it gives reload speed but loses crit chance. Uh, reload speed is not a thing you entirely need because it already has a pretty good reload speed. And you're only firing one shot at a time. Unless you're firing constantly and continuing. Which, uh... It's either you're firing constantly for Sagan or you're firing... One, 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 and then reloading super fast, and yeah, I know. you really want to reload that fast for a single shot over and over. Yeah, I know the uh, re the I'm gonna reroll and see if I get something better. Uh, no, that is not better. Did you reroll it? Yeah, I'm trying to try rerolling it again. Slipped chitlet? Hmm. Slipped chain 78 added me added me as a friend. That oh, seems like an actual gamer again. tag. See if they have any gamer <laughs> score. The, f the first thing I gotta check is uh whether or not like if they message me about if I'm busy, I'm just gonna say immediately I'm I'm cheating on you. <laughs> yeah, these bots, um, any response gets, like, the next comment in their little chain, I've noticed, as you saw from, like, the post I made. Both the bots that I've gotten have both have uh, said that they were part of some online video thing. They wanted to see me there in their private yeah. chats. Yeah, same thing happened to Celine, <laughs> and yesterday, same thing happened to me. Yeah. Like, they finally you tried like that butt -paste. going at me, and just like, I just started, like, <laughs> mashing random fucking words together. <laughs> butt paste. <laughs> Alright, so... This new reroll that might be better is plus impact, plus status duration, plus zoom, minus crit damage. I mean... Taking away the crit damage is kind of redundant. It, you're trying to hit crits and whatnot, not I know, lose the potential things from it. Yeah, I don't know. Neither of them are pretty good yet. I mean, it's a little better than the other one, but not good yet. I don't have enough Kuva to reroll it yet. Or not enough Kuva to reroll it again, rather. Is that a... No, I think that's a Neja. Can't... It looks like a trap. <laughs> oh, some guy wants to trade with me. Wonderful. There's nobody around me. How much for Cerberus Riven? Okay, I'm gonna say 45 plat. I mean, I guess. Up to you. Oh, I need to. Did I ever put that uh, Reaper Riven on the constructor? I don't remember. No, I didn't. Why didn't I?
He's probably gonna retaliate and then just be like. Damage to Gunir, ammo maximum. He's like, no, corpus, thank you. Flight speed. Uh. Okay, I don't have enough capacity. And I should probably be rolled out again anyway. I mean, the Riven currently makes uh, Nell lose 0.6 of its crit multiplier. Drops it down to 0 0.9 instead of 1.5 but nearly doubles its main damage type. Ooh, this guy has a Rhino Prime blueprint. Okay. And he quit the chat trade. <laughs> of course he did. Just everybody else who wants a Sybaris Riven not have, or also have a Rhino Prime Blueprint, but not refusing to trade. Okay. It will be marked on navigation. This will be an interesting build. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, this will be quite interesting, actually, especially if I can get a Moderai Polarity Riven for Cronin. <laughs> guy apparently is just like nah Yeah, I'm definitely going to need a uh, Moderai Polarity Cronin Riven. <laughs> Get wrecked. It'll be an all Moderai weapon. <laughs> primed Pressure Point, Primed That's Reach, Primed business. Fury, Blood Rush, Weeping Wounds, Spoiled Strike, Maiming Strike. And, uh, I was 
debating between Killing Blow and Berserker. Or, if, uh, if I can get a Riven, that's Madurai Polarity, the Riven. <laughs> Like fucking kill shit with pure <laughs> overwhelming damage. Let's see, does Scourge need a thing? Yes, it does. It's a mage! If I wind up pulling an all-nighter, it'll at least be, like, every time I've pulled an all-nighter, the time I start to, like, really get hit the hardest with the tiredness and crashing would be right around the time I'm getting off of uh, work from Walmart, so if I need to, I'll just pull through. <laughs> All of my current gear is now unranked. Three of them because Forma. This guy is inching towards me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, he, somebody wants to trade. Little Wolf Gaming. Hey. Lawn 3 Wolf Game Gam 3 ing. Yeah, I think uh, once I max out this Zephyr, I'm gonna reform. I'm gonna form its uh, uh, aura polarity for uh, steel charge. Greetings, mage. Hello. Ah. We can switch to Titanfall. I want to... I want to do, like, one or two missions with, uh start leveling up the alternate Zephyr, aka Carrion Crow. Right now I have everything except the wings, because they're not available quite yet. Seven levels of being a furry. <laughs> I th I th I th I think I think he skipped some stuff. that on like well not have less than half 
The situation forces you to help the corpus in this mission. Kill all Grenier. Like, I have not spent near that much and have more than what he listed as it being worth. Some guy He's asking me how much what his road drops. Meso S6. He does realize he can just Spear -plime look at it. -plime string. Yeah, he should look at it and find out. I mean, I'm looking at it right now. Spear Prime Blade. Supporting the enemy feels wrong, but keeping the balance requires tough choices. Probably. But yeah, I need, I need a model I polarity prone and ribbon. Because if I can get a Madurai Polarity Riven, its entire fucking loadout will be Madurai slots. Which is mostly, uh, like, raw damage, uh, related mods. Yeah. Right now, I've got both Weeping Wounds and Blood Rush on my, uh, Cronin. Uh, the Blood Rush of Status Effect. But yeah, uh, Blood Rush adds crit chance with your combo meter. Uh, Weeping Wounds adds status chance. I forget where it's from. And did I mention Cronin's waited for Slash? So I'm gonna get this guy. This guy says that he has a Rhino blueprint and he says it's easy to get. I'll help you get it. But yeah, I just need uh, the wing things. Carrying right. It'll be eventually. Oh, hey. Finished scanning the uh, regular Lancers, finally. It had. It just started turning green instead of getting scanned by. Uh, what's. What's its face? I'm debating at some point maxing out the uh, other uh, bullet jump mods to give a different one to that info instead of just Toxin. This guy cancelled the trade when he realized I wanted the Rhino for the plant and nothing else. Yeah, people tend to prefer sets. Well, it's not that it's not sets or whatever. He didn't say that he had a set. He was just saying, "Oh, I got other prime stuff." Even oh, though he, he was trying to sell his whole marketplace as well. His whole uh, advertised market thing, his whole stock. I don't know. He was the one who brought his trade to me. Like he clicked me. Why?
Oh yeah, that happy hour thing that you had set. How much longer is that? Oh, so I missed it again. While we're all customizing. Man, I missed using Krogman. No, I've always liked Cronin visually, it's just like, power-wise, they, uh, weren't as strong as some other weapons, but like, between the actual visuals of the weapon and, uh, the stance, it's just like, I really like using them. Uh, I forget. Not Sovereign Outcast, the other one. They don't match Sovereign Outcast. Yeah. Somebody's trying to sell Trinity some of the, set for twenty. Some of the combos flat. for it are like vicious, which really fucking fits with this loadout. <laughs> yeah, landing shots probably helps. But yeah, I would love to get a Cronin Riven at some point. <laughs> Gang up on them! RIP IT APART! Not cool. Gemini Cross, I believe, is the uh, other one. Yeah, Gemini Cross. Star Divide is the. Uh, Conclave one, but I don't remember it. What is? Huh, <laughs> wanna know something funny? Oma is the only one of the Tonfas that naturally matches Sovereign Outcast. All the rest match Gemini Cross. Bloody. Ooh. Evil. Oh, sorry, I was reading up on uh, Gemini Cross because, like, the various stances will sometimes force status procs. Um, two of its, like, main, uh, well, both of its, like, main uh, heavy combos um, guarantee a slash proc.
probably almost strong enough to regenerate. Although one of its heavy combos will hit all enemies in a line and has a 100% chance of dealing a slash proc on the last spinning attack three times on a single target. So that's interesting. Your sense of duty compels you to help the Corpus today. Destroy all Grenier forces to help maintain Ooh. the balance. And then its other combo, the third attack in it is a jump that throws the uh, weapons at an enemy. And then catching them and slamming, which inflicts a knockdown against nearby enemies and also hurls away, throws away enemies that it hits. So yeah. My download's going wrong, quite fast. But keeping the balance requires tough choices. For perspective, my download is at 52 gigs out of 66. Which means I only need uh, 14 more. It's about Nice. So, really, I could probably be playing in about 11 hours. So, probably like tomorrow ish. When I get home. Yeah, maybe I actually. Same. Maybe actually by the time you get home. Yeah. Doesn't it suck when you get people who are supposed to be noobs at the game and not know what they're doing? But then they don't bother to like try and try to learn or take advantage of stuff early. And then you take advantage of them and make them charge more. And pay more. That was probably just a thing. I mean, the guy even said that somebody else, a friend of his, bought it for 15. I guess he decided he was willing to pay 30. Yeah. Went to some blue prints. <laughs> well, no, that's somebody else. Hookers do earn lots of money, so at least he'll be able to afford you some expensive jewelry, Celine. I'm selling him Unless money. he's bad at his job. In which case, I'm sorry, you'll have to make do with costume jewelry. I have not checked it. I want to sell to Ash Prime look. for 30 plat. <laughs> no, he's getting me. No! A little bit. I can't. I actually spent a lot of time practicing uh, the various. Um, Multiplayer modes. There was some of that in learning the multiplayer modes. I didn't do too bad in some of them. There's some guy who's like, if I yeah, was I was green. playing multiplayer uh, the whole time while I was playing that. No, uh, I went ahead and left it as uh, all of them just to like give them a try. I got different game modes like each time I match -maked. So
I also tried out the Coliseum thing, got absolutely mauled, and then the person messaged me asking if it was my first time playing. I said it essentially was, and I got no further response. I mostly couldn't even hit the guy because, like, he would pop off a clone pretty much at the start of the ma uh, match and then just, like, zip all around. So it was just, like, difficult to even keep track of him. And then, like, the few times I did find and shoot him to death, it was the clone. And then, of course, he'd be behind me and just, like, punch me in the back of the head and cave in my skull, I guess. <laughs> Uh, hold on, I'm doing invasions on Zephyr to level her up. Shouldn't take too long, they've been all exterminate. And plus I need field drawn samples. A few minutes. I don't know. It depends on what the other missions type are. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm just going to finish these invasions and then, like, hop in the shower and try and sleep. Oh. Gemini Cross was the this first stance that could be attained via yeah, mission rewards. And not, uh, exclusively from... Enemy units. The situation forces you to help the I mean, granted, a few more have been Kill like that the since year. then, but it was the first. Of them. This guy's trying to cheat me out. How so? He's trying to say three for three, and he gave me. And he's put three ribbons into the thing. He's trying to say three ribbons. When I have for three ribbons. one ribbon and two, he's tr he's basically just giving junk ribbons. What are they for? Lotto, maybe good. Cyclon, meter. Which is one of, which is one that I also have. I have a meter ribbon. Miter. Buzzlock. No idea what that is. Buzzlock has an interest. Uh, have you ever seen the Fifth Element? Either way, he's trying to get my Sybaris ribbon, Boltor, and uh, Burstin. Now the Burstin ribbon trading for one of those would probably be a decent deal. Uh. The Cyclone one, I don't know. I don't know what kind of what Cyclone's disposition is. Cyclone recharges its ammo, so it's a little interesting. Like that. Um, Buzzlock. The Riven could be good. Buzzlock's an interesting weapon. Um, the reason I asked if you've ever seen uh, the Fifth Element is because there's a gun in there that has like. I'm pretty sure was Your voice the, uh, cut out for a good while. What was the last? What was the name that you heard there? Uh, you sealed off with meter, then you cut out, and then you were done. Okay. The miter one, probably not that great. Um, the Cycron one, debatable. Cycron's got an interesting gimmick in that it's got the same kind of ammo economy as an Arcwing weapon. It basically just recharges. Um, Accolado also could be good because uh, I'm not too familiar with Accolado. I kind of just leveled it and kept going. Mm. I mean, either way. 
it doesn't seem worth for me to give three ribbons that are um, potentially pretty good. Getting like, rid of the burst of ribbon them. for uh, one of the better ones might be a decent trade there. Uh, what was the other two you mentioned? Another I don't know. I already can't. They can't trade has already been canceled because it oh. is not worth. He first did three for three, then he was offering three for four, and then I'm just like, eh. Well, because uh, I could probably get more from the one Sybaris ribbon than I could for three not good ribbons that nobody would want. Right. The Buzzlock one could be potentially interesting because the Buzzlock is kind of an interesting weapon, if I recall correctly what it does. Uh, the reason I mentioned if you've ever seen The Fifth Element is because the there's a uh, gun in that movie that I'm pretty sure was like the basis for it. Uh... The gun in the movie that it's got a similar thing to. Um, the first round, which for the, in this one it's you fire an alt, uh, you use the alt fire. But the first round is essentially a tracer round. It basically marks the spot, and then like for the duration or whatever of uh, while that's active, every other bullet you fire will home in on that first spot. Even if you're firing, like, huh. directly behind it. Like, you could turn around and fire, and that's the spot they'll still hit. It's actually pretty... It's actually got a pretty interesting gimmick. So a ribbon for it could be pretty interesting if it's a good ribbon. I see. Oh, let me make sure it's the buzzlock that does that, and not, like, something else. Yeah. It's the buzzlock that has that homing round. It, I'm pretty sure someone at DE had to have seen the fifth element and gotten the idea from it for the, like, the idea for the buzzlock from the gun in that movie. Or the guns, rather. This guy like, offered the gimmick is way He's too just like similar. Ridden. I'm. No, this is what it, he's just like Riven. I'm just like which one? Doesn't matter. I'm just say like, okay, what you paying? And the answer is the trade. <laughs> it was with that. That guy People didn't say anything that he want. That he, he didn't say which one he wanted, which means I could have given any one of my eight that I had, including the meter oh. one that was probably not that great. But I would want something equal ish, equal, or if I could cheese it, that jerk better. Oh, an interesting thing. Your turn. Uh, the, with Buzzlock, the, uh, its little homing bullets gimmick, um, also adds 50% crit chance on top of, like, the sh landed shots. Huh. Yeah, that's, that's after cool. mods. I'm not sure if that's after mods or just off of base chance, but I'm sure it would scale with the mods after that. Oh, it is off of, uh, total crit chance so it'd be afterwards once a target is selected with the tracking beacon though the weapon will fire on that spot until the beacon disappears or the enemy is killed Are you enjoying the view? The beacon will also last for about uh, 20 seconds or until a new one is fired. 
Yeah. Hello. If there's a mod that... Ah, uh, hold on. Go on. It's been having some weird Just loading you. screen issues the last couple of days. I don't know. I'm glad I decided to use them with this build. And if, uh, with my current mods I can make it pretty decent damage wise. And if I can get a Riven that would be amazing. Neat limbo. Navigation has been updated with new invasions. Chaos is spreading. Good, I need one of those so that when I finally build Broken War, I can just... my thing. Oh boy, exterminate. Oh, this is Corpus. I'm gonna just stand right in the middle of this circle. You'd think they'd clone something a little less ugly? I didn't just ask if I was German. I see that. I I don't understand completely. Like I don't even know myself. This research could have unimaginable repercussions. Because uh, I, when I was asked, I was told I have a bit of everything in my blood. Is this a 
this guy from earlier? Target found. Destroy it. Excellent work. You have managed to thwart potentially dangerous discoveries from being fully realized. For now. Some guys asking me what ribbon mods are. <laughs> it, then, if he's new enough to not know what they are, then he's too new to have any use for it. Tell him they're an end game item that he'll find out more of later. What is his mastery rank? I don't know. You can ask. No. <laughs> Apparently. Mission complete. Excellent work, Tenno. Okay. Inbox messages await the operator. I wonder what they say. <sighs> oh, hey, Vehek is pissed at me again. Wonderful, maybe I'll get a chance for back parts. Goostrog 3. <laughs> Crashold. <laughs> okay, this guy knows what they are. He just says, I know. I want yours. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everything in orders, operator? Is that a pun? Hmm. I will attempt to bypass this fault. Places always have their issues.
Grenier have been harvesting a nearby planetoid for weapons grade material. Locate and destroy their mining equipment. is nearby. It must be destroyed to prevent the Grenier from developing energy weapons. This guy wants my Boltor and Burston mods for, uh... My Boltor and Burston for something that I can't see in an unveiled pistol ribbon. A s Supra. I should do that. Let me finish this mission and I'll join too. Well, Blue is playing trade chat over there. Playing trade chat. <laughs> Getting an unveiled pistol ribbon. And the Supra Hera Aikita. Alright. Oh, there's four bonuses in that. Plus 5.2% damage to Grenier, plus 7.2% zoom, plus 18.8% damage, plus 19- plus 9.1% recoil. Okay, that's a negative, actually. Yeah. But, plus zoom it, uh, is- or minus zoom or whatever is, while technically a negative, for the ribbon purposes, most people view it as an extra positive. That makes the other positives stronger. Oh. Somebody else wants to trade. Yeah, I'm uh, having orientation at the uh, at Walmart well tomorrow morning. Or Gorgon VC has a ten plus seven point. It is seventy five point two percent status plus ninety five point nine impact and plus one hundred forty five point six damage. Okay, maxed well. it out. One reroll. Okay. You were saying? Is it Gorgon? Huh. No. From what I've from what I've heard, um working at Walmart tends to like fluctuate over time to where like they're good to their workers or not good like to and then like for a while it was supposed to be like 
it was a good job and then it wasn't for a while and now they're like trying to get their reputation back type deal so it's very good right now and it's significantly better than my current place which is basically run by bitchy women I accidentally hit the clan because I thought I was in the trick chat thing. I'm trying to delete this and I think my game froze. My game for okay, no it hasn't. <laughs> Send me an invite. Y'all get to see uh Carrion Crow Zephyr. This is the so news after. <laughs> Grace didn't do that. <laughs> really, Greg? Really? Screw you. Oh, somebody sent me a trip tri thing before you sent me an invite. And then he canceled it. Hello. I'm leveling a news after. <laughs> it will be marked on navigation. So, of course, I'm going Zephyr. You're a Everything bitch. Great. Send me an invite before somebody else. Send me the other one. I accidentally canceled it. <laughs> Death detonation and low gravity. This will be fun. Um, the enemies explode like bombs. Be careful when meleeing. That's 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 for pussies. Shootings for pussies. Oh uh, yeah, apparently I'm still in Maru's Bazaar. If the level out. 14 Zephyr is willing to go melee someone, the Level 30 Atlas should be fine. Atlas is Atlas one. Be good scales off six. of way too many things. It's basically a hidden fucking exalted weapon. Like, what the fuck, Atlas? It scales off of his power strength. It scales off of, uh... Uh, uh, the steel Efficiency. charge. It scales off of its own fucking combo meter. It scales off his melee combo meter. It scales off his melee mods, I think. Like, Atlas? What the fuck? He had to sacrifice his head for exalted fists. There is a large platoon <laughs> at Grenier Marine stationed here. Leave no one standing. <laughs> he totally did. Tana, my readings indicate an increasingly dense oh, what's this? Why am I dying? This can only um, one because the enemies have triple damage and are living bombs. Yep. Yes. Death from above! Holy shit. It, like... I'm glad I'm recording this. The gravity was so low that I, like, hovered in the sky while waiting to do the ground pound. That was amazing. Oh, I got hit with a I think. That or I'm just sucky little hell. There was a there was a different design. The remaster. Well, it's a lot more 
green and alive. Like before, with it's all the toxins and stuff, they were pop pumping into it. Uh, uh, it was like very dead looking. Makes you feel like we've had like some major progress uh, with uh, fucking up the Grenier and all their toxin plants. This also means that the uh, Vey Heck raid is canonically been completed. You mean the turkey raid? Yes. They heck is a turkey. Have you not fucking seen him? You had to have. Have you done? Okay. He's the boss on earth. Have you ever gotten a hydroid part? You have fought him, Gray. I was not with you, but you have fought him. He's the one that, okay. in his first phase, floats around, yells at you, hits you with a magnetic proc, and hides his face behind a mask that is his only weak point. And then shoves his head into a wall. Then, in his second phase, he goes into that terra frame, which looks like a giant fucking mechanized turkey. And then, of course, our other raid boss, the Jordis Golem, is a fucking infested space frog. Have you... Have you done Stolen Dreams? He has to have done Damn. Stolen Dreams to get to Mars. Uh, I need to find someone who hasn't done That's it because it there's a thing that spawns there that... Uh, I need to You mean the scans. map tile set that I got with a uh, nose in? No, that's, that's... That's not the tile set, like an actual enemy or object that can be scanned. Not the carrier thing. Well, Xbox Live profiles are free, so yes. You could technically do that just to get access to like certain early missions. Just like take turns doing it so that everybody can get the scans. But that is one method. We might do that for some of the earlier ones. I mean, hey, I'd love to replay... Like, i just love to replay the old and original, uh... I think they did say some at some point, like, I think at some point the plan is to, like, make all the quests replayable. They just haven't gotten to the very to first it. quest. Yeah, Vora's Prize. That's what I want to do. Well, for the people that were around before the uh, tutorial quest was a thing, um, they were able to play it, uh, but it would give them like the selection of the three starter frames and they would use it for that mission, but if they had a different starter, it like wouldn't give them like the frame, the new starter frame. Like for example, Loki used to be a starter frame, say they picked Loki. And then for like the new uh, tutorial quest, like when it came about and they played it for the first time, like say they picked uh, Excalibur, they wouldn't suddenly have Excalibur. They, as soon as the quest ended, they'd be dropped back to Loki.
Well, it Thanks also kind of makes sense it. why they did that because, like, especially if they ever get to replay it, uh, not all frames have a first power that can be used as a damaging attack. And yeah, and um, yeah. The uh, at the very beginning of the tutorial quest, you don't even have any weapons, so you need a damaging attack power. Uh, I still I don't need like the, dealing the with cane extract. I'm gonna do that. Uh, yeah. What type of mission is the detain? It's exterminate. Exterminate drawing. corpus, but it's like level thirty. Just now realized I went in solo with like. Oh, you're already in weapons. solo. You said you're already in it. Yeah, I'm on solo queue. Okay. Hang on, hang start on, the mission. Leave and join this. I'll just join yours for taken. Okay. But yeah, after this, I'm gonna like go hop in the shower and I guess try and get some Officer, sleep. Ordius wonders, what are you thinking about? I mean, I don't work tomorrow, so that's nice. By the way, uh, Blue, I posted the wiki link for Buzzlock in the Simulock room. I mean, I don't, I didn't get the ribbons. Also, we have... No, I'm just saying, so, uh... So, you know, in case you want to... Like... Go after getting a regular buzz... Like, just getting Buzzlock. Eliminate all corpus threats. Tenno. I am detecting a synthesis target. Use the synthesis scanner to track the creature. Watch the security systems. Uh, you do know to use the scanner itself as a tracker. Just re repeatedly do it. All right, Hunter. I will reward you should you perform synthesis. <laughs> Did you just get killed by a synthesis target? Welcome. No, I used the synthesis trap. It's an item you can buy from Samaris. You equip them on your gear wheel and then you use them. He gives you a few to start with. Uh, and then you equip them on your gear wheel. We got a rhino. No, that's for the scan. I'm talking about for the synthesis traps. I think I'm max. You put them on your gear wheel, and then when you're near a synthesis target, you put them on the ground. Like, you pull open your gear wheel, and then you slap over to them, and you press X. You're on the 
on the sensors now. You've been detected. You have yeah, it drops it right there, and if the synthesis target is within range, it yoinks them up into the air. It's pretty big range. Yes. I mean, it does have a limited range, but its limited range is actually pretty big. I mean... As long as you're not, like, across the room from them or some shit. Unless it's a small room. We are on this. Alerts? Uh... Overwrite stuff. And Eris used to be a corpus location. Uh, invasions used to be significantly different in that a winning faction would actually take complete control of that area for a while. Yeah. Phobos also used to be an infested location. Hell, Phobos changed, I think if I recall, has changed hands more times than any other location ever did. Okay, thanks for yanking the elevator away. <laughs> Don't we work? I'll call your face off. Hey, how are you? Mission complete. Excellent work, Tenno. Small. Small burb needs big rock. <laughs> eh, he broke. He's too thin. I'm sorry, what? He's after you forsaken. He likes the big throbber. I will take these Cronin. What is this fist? And I will like stab them into your neck stump. <laughs> and then you just start fucking this. yanking. Yes, yank him forsaken. Blue, you hush. <laughs> I mean, apparently you're over there being dominated by Celine's table, so... You hush. <laughs> Where did that come from? Like, really? <laughs> Go check the go go check the clan chat on the Discord. <laughs> In Discord. By the way, I still get what you're saying. I've been thinking, operator. I thought you'd want to know. Like, what, what you said makes no sense. <laughs> Abyssal Requiem. It's like in the actual clan channel. I have a condition. <laughs> the condition of being dominated by tables. You make no sense, Forsaken. Okay. Uh, 
the part that I screenshotted. They're, they're, they're terms from a type of, uh, a type of, um, like, show and book and stuff. Basically, in, like, male, male-oriented, uh, like, books and etc., uh, the seme is the top and the uke is the bottom. I never apparently, said anything about UK. Yeah, but apparently you're uh apparently according to you, Celine's table semis okay. So Yeah. I know that was a typo. <laughs> yes, I know, I'm making fun of that typo. <laughs> you no sense. <laughs> that that would have to actually require knowledge of whatever that was, which I had none of. I had no idea what you're talking about. And? You still make no sense. The joke is not funny then. The typo was funny because of a similar word. The typo was funny, yes. But it was not... Quit overanalyzing me making fun of a typo. It was not worth having the full, oh my gosh, this is what it means because it's a typo. It's going back to the whole poetry make no sense with the whole, what did the author mean when they were writing this? Okay. No, I completely get what you're saying, but it was not worth warranting that whole thing. It was not a whole of... thing. <laughs> for the sake of a joke later that nobody gets. Okay. Now, are you gonna go to bed? Yeah, thank you. Before you yank, okay? Okay. Just. Okay, Blue. See, you walked. You walked into that joke. How did I walk into that joke? <laughs> you made it. No, I said I would stab these very sharp uh, tonflas into your little neck stump, and then yank them. <laughs> oh my God. I'ma stab both of you. I got two tonfa. I can stab you both. <laughs> Small verb. I think you made Forsaken upset. Go comfort your small burb, Gray. Oh my god, shut up, Blue! <laughs>
Okay. Hey, Blue. Bye, more toys. Where? On Zephyr. <laughs> On Limbo. Limbo does it everyone. He takes it off. <laughs> anyway. actually doesn't have a card piece. You know what card piece is? Card piece. Yeah. No. No. Card piece is a thing that male knights hold over their genitals to protect them. It's a medieval cup. Quite funny. <laughs> I 
And how scandalous what Forsaken is saying at the time it's to that. <laughs> But hey, if I get 45 more plat, I can just buy Z Excalibur, not have to do the farming. Or you could just do Conclave. <laughs> and get to rank 5 in that. That doesn't take as long as you'd think. <laughs> By the way, I have to get so many points every day. And then constantly be doing that. Uh, 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 uh. Just doing good, the weekly like... challenges once got me from like not started to rank three and a half. <laughs> Look back again. Anyway. <laughs> And K blue. Begun. It will be marked on navigation. <laughs> Why you be knowing that term? Who doesn't know that term? I, like, <laughs> Fleet has been throwing that out there, talking about it all the time, and you're just asking me how I know that term. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot like, about <laughs> Fleet's occasional like nympho rants. <laughs> Anyway, you're actually asleep. You're gonna die laughing first. What I was saying was, I'm going to go hop in the shower now, and after that, if I can't sleep, I'll get back on. I don't know yet. Mm. How scandalous! You'll try conclave a bit tomorrow. Yep, yep. <laughs> 